Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and one of the things I want to talk to you guys about today is the importance of situational awareness. And this is really important whether you carry a weapon or not, whether you live in a country to where weapons are even legal or not, because situational awareness is not only how you preemptively strike and know when to strike first in an encounter, because again, if you go back to the understanding of the violence of action philosophy, striking first is critical to surviving any sort of self-defense scenario as well as giving you better opportunities to decide if you should flee, if you can flee, finding escape routes, and in some cases simply defusing a violent situation before they turn violent, before someone actually decides they're going to attack you, or before they make the move if they were considering doing so. Now, what I mean by situational awareness, knowing who's around you, what's going on around you. For example, if you are tactically minded and you care about these things, good situational awareness would when you walk into a restaurant or a store, you know how many people are around you. You have a good idea of their demeanor, maybe the, their build, whether they look strong or not. You might actually scan them over everyone in the room to see who's printing and might be carrying a concealed weapon of some type or if they're carrying an open weapon, depending upon where you live. Knowing who's armed around you, how physically fit they might be, how capable they are of uh, Launching some sort of attack against you is just kind of important information to have and always have in the back of your mind when you enter a room, as well as knowing all the entrances and exits to a building. So you can not only determine the best way to escape, but which way someone might come through or out, in or out in an attack of some type. And when you sit at a restaurant or any similar place of sitting in a spot where you can see as many and ideally all of the entrances and exits. Situational awareness is also, when you're walking through a parking lot, you're not talking on your phone and distracted. You go through a parking lot, you keep an eye on who's around you, who's getting close to you. You can learn to use mirrors, use windows of vehicles to, again, know who's around you and who's close to you. Because that's also one way to prevent attacks without ever having to draw a weapon is if someone's closing in too close on your comfort towards you, is to see them coming, know they're coming before they get too close put your hand on your weapon and maybe turn and face them and let them know, hey, you need to back up. You're coming too close to me in this parking lot. That many times will diffuse a potential attacker or a robbery from happening in and of itself without even drawing your weapon. So situational awareness and just paying attention to what's going on around you, everyone around you, what they're doing, if they appear to be armed, if they appear to be hostile, their body language, and not getting distracted by technology and little things that aren't important when you are out in a public setting to where there's any possibility of being attacked. So again, situational awareness is, is a very important tactical and self-defense topic, and it's something you just need to always have in your mind at all times, and it's something that you can practice doing and work on to help not only launch a first strike if needed, but in many cases to prevent a conflict from even happening. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.